It's going to come down to these last 30 minutes for both teams. And 30 minutes for both of them to keep their European Cup ambitions alive. For Macedonia, they have to win. For the Czech Republic, who are about to throw off in white, they only need a draw. So right now the score suits the Czech Republic, but they are a player down. Kubes is off for the next 40 seconds and will join in the action as soon as his band comes up. But that suits the Czech Republic OK because they're on the attack, although Macedonia sort that out pretty quickly and now they come away with the ball. And lose it straight back. Jika gets the offensive foul. Horak didn't take it from the right place, according to the referee. And now we can go again. Jika with the ball, nine seconds or so, and uh, we'll probably see Strelak come in, number 22. Here's Kubes, he's a defender. Well, there's time off the clock here, not quite sure why. the offensive foul, Chikas is stepping into the path of uh, the oncoming player, Mikulowski. They're only going to the line for the Czech Republic, big number six. Chika, Stelic. Korak, nowhere for him to go. And again, well, possession is just switching sides very quickly. Minute down, no goals. And not great handball from either side. Stockholm happy enough with that, and now it's the public. Horak denied with a good stop from Rostovsky. A chance here, Anishovsky. Great goal, and that sends the Macedonians into raptures. Lovely pass from Rostovsky. Anishovsky picks it up, puts it away, and sends the crowd into delirium. Just be too quick for Kubesh. Jika. Stopped. Wisdowski again. Another chance here, Alashovsky, he's got a man available, doesn't need him, oh, he should have used him. Lazarov was there. He's tried to go alone and he's denied by Stockel. It rolls out for a Macedonian ball. The Macedonians have their tails up, the fans in full voice. Touch on the shot to send that one wide. Oh, good save, Stockwell. It's going to be a penalty. Lazarov. Two goal lead for Macedonia, this will be huge. 
And they've got it. And now there's some serious pressure on the Czech Republic. Well, as you might expect, the uh, roars have increased in volume and the boos and heckles from the Macedonian fans. Horak, no way through for him. And Macedonia playing some good out ball. Telkov wants the crowd to keep making noise. Nikolovsky again trying to get the crowd going and that'll do nicely. Is there another opportunity here? Alashovsky, oh denied, Stockwell had no idea where it had gone. It doesn't matter because it didn't go in the back of the net. How vital will that save prove to be? What a save from Stockwell. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, Macedonians are in dreamland at the moment. Six minutes off the clock. 24 minutes left. The Czech Republic to at least get a draw. 24 minutes for the Macedonians to keep the Czech Republic at bay. Penalty given, and a two-minute suspension. And it's Horak who goes to the bench. Koloski came in, I didn't see any contact. Poor angle for us to see that, though. This is another big moment for Stockholm. What's he got in the locker? Oh, nothing at all. Lazarov sends that one in. And Macedonia lead by three. Well, this would be a bit of a shock if the Czech Republic were to go out. Still ages to go yet. That's a lovely shot and a great finish from Nokar. He just went clean round the back of Macedonia. Mishovsky bounces it through and Dimovsky has caught. Uh, Stockel in the face and uh, then it's saying to me, you're going to apologise. Oh, right in the nose. Oh, Philip's still not happy. Neither is uh, Dimovsky. Stockel will be okay. He's not unconscious. I've seen that before. Goalkeeper's getting knocked out. Nothing more than a graze for Stockel. And Macedonia get on with it again. A very nearly stolen chance here. Brilliant. Czech Republic hedged their bets. They tried to steal the ball and it's cost them a goal. 
Tjelkov off the wing, top corner. The Czech Republic have got to get their act together here. We can't hope that Macedonia are going to make mistakes and they're going to hand this game to them because it doesn't look like that. It's going to happen at all. Stelic trying to get through. Denied by uh, Maneskov, who's playing on the left wing. And also by Mikulovsky. Tunes and whistles. The players can either hear themselves think don't know what they have to say. Stelic. Passive play warning here for the Czech Republic. They're going to have to get a shot in soon. And they do. It's Rani who gets it. And the crowd go quiet. Nice take from Rani. Good finish as well. Shovsky. Good call. Mikulovsky had a look around to see what was on and said, I know, I'm going to slide this one in down low. Stop this. Well, he knows it's a long way to go, doesn't he, Shandowski? He's not showing any emotions until they've got the win, if they get the win. 20 minutes left. Offloads. Rani. Well, there's a man who has to be careful because Mick Cobb got a two minute suspension, and that's the end of his game. Good steal. Well, this is a dream few minutes here for Macedonia. Maniskov with the ball. Moski, who's a new entrant into the team after the second uh, came in for the second game. He wasn't originally in the squad, the big number 19. That's the only, only named 15 players, so bringing him in, and now he's being uh, a right nuisance, isn't he? Against the Czech Republic defensive line. He's sending Horak to the floor. Oh, good save. And a change of keepers for the Czech Republic has uh, paid off. Well, it's a two minute suspension for uh, Velko Markovsky for his part in that foul in the act of shooting. Is hauled to the floor. And yeah, that's then they've got some serious defending to do. Chica, great goal. Just two behind now.
very quiet in the hall. The crowd just a little bit nervy. There'll be a massive roar if Macedonia can score. Go three ahead again. Dimovsky. Oh, it's a goal, but it's not Dimovsky. It's Merkulovsky who gets the ball in the back of the net. And re-establishes the three-goal lead. That was done very easily by Jan Philip. Completely quiet in the crowd. So Macedonia now will be up to full strength. Power play over. In comes uh, Vladimir Temelkov onto the right wing. Mikulovsky with the ball, a little handoff for Lazarov, who scores! Super goal to beat Gallia. A little grimace from Lazarov, just wonder what kind of an injury he's carrying. Most of the players will be carrying an injury of some sort, some more obvious than others. You see the strapping on players, and braces and all sorts going on, but shoulder injuries hugely common. Rotator cuff injuries, rotator cuff nicks, inflammations. That's the general bruises and scrapes and grazes from that kind of a play. Nice goal again from Philip. Czech Republic move to within one, 15 minutes to go. Brilliant finish once again from Merkulovsky. That was taken really quickly. No chance for the Czech Republic to put up any kind of a block. The well, Czech Republic, I'm slowly thinking it's uh, nearly squeaky bum time here for them. Another minute down. Macedonia, another minute closer to victory. Horak closed down by Merkulovsky. Clap it into the side of him. Ristovsky just having a little chat with the players. Like Markowski just receiving some treatment for a knock on the shin. Tack. He never really has much to say. His emotions are always pretty much in check. Okay, Markowski feeling the effects of a knock to the shin, and it's, it's an area really that is so painful when you get hit there. About the footballers' observation, pads. We're still getting a clash of shins, or a knee on the shin, or actually getting kicked in the shin. And it won't sting. All right, Chica. Ball is lost. Macedonia just calm things down a little bit. Masarov comes in. So too does uh, Mojovski. He's eating up valuable seconds. There's another minute, bites the dust. Here in the sports centre, the care. Mm. 
finished just a short hop over the border for Macedonia, which is why there's so many fans in. And making this like a home tie for the team in red. Ooh, just got caught, but has he made a little bit too much of that, you wonder? And it's a two-minute suspension for Yuri Heinek. How much of this is play acting and how much of this is real? Oh, he's not touched him, has he? He's gone to his face. He's put his hand down on his chest. And Majofsky said, why did you hit him? Well, he didn't, did he? That's really poor play acting, and that's not good sportsmanship. That's the only don't care. But they got themselves a man extra. And I'll bet you that he'll be absolutely fine as soon as the referee says, let's go again. with something to cheer about a real possibility that they could cause an upset and they could go through to the main round <laughs> Angelowski set down and what's going to happen to Kubesh here? He's got two minutes. Crowd go berserk with joy. Have another look at this. Oh, yeah, well, that was. He's just clotheslined him. It's a trouble, though, when you're that tall and the players are short. You've just got to be careful. Kubesh wasn't careful. Two minutes suspension. Off you go. Checking his nose isn't broken, mind you. Looks like it's been broken a few times. I think one more will make much difference. Well, Czech Republic really want to get a couple of goals here if they can, or at least one without reply. But it's more like Macedonia going to score, and they do! It's now a four-goal lead. Temelkov puts that one in. A little lob from him off the wing. Well, they mustn't get carried away. Temelkov is one to get the crowd going. But they've still got a job to do here. Denied. It's been snatched back. And away come the Czech Republic. Now they're trying to defend. Oh, they've just managed to do it. Scrabbling the ball back, Jika to deny Maniskov the opportunity to shoot, and that could have put Macedonia out of sight. Absolutely nowhere at all for Sklenak to go. Mikulovsky's in no hurry to get up. So I don't want to see any of that. Play acting as if you've been caught. Players have all said, Majowski in particular, that playing these kind of matches as that one does go in to pacify the crowd from Chica. But playing these matches, like playing home games, but as well as having the crowd there and as good as it is, we get to see that one again. There's also a lot of pressure on the players to perform in front of such a massive fan base that's come out to see them here in Serbia. Space here for the shot, and the goal from Lazarov, but he goes down. He's caught in the stomach as he had that shot. Let's have a look as he takes a shot, as it Jika catches him. 
sure that anyone catches him, just wonder whether he's winded himself. Crowd more interested in the fact he scored. Well, there are a couple of worried faces as he goes down. It's a four-goal lead now. With just over ten minutes to go for Macedonia. The question is, can they hold on? Can they knock out the Czech Republic? Martin Liptek holding his timeout card. I'm sure that will probably be going in shortly. He's trying to cool down. Let's her off. Get the core temperature a little bit lower. Swap the ice on the back of the neck. Now this is where the Czech Republic have to show what they're made of. Back to full strength. Rani goes to the line. Okay. Horak. Philip. Horak again. Chance. Goal. Well taken. Narrow block from Macedonia, and it's punished. <laughs> Macedonia have to keep their cool, stay patient. Jowski going nowhere. Oh, it's in. It's another great goal. It's Lazarov who gets it. And it's an immediate reply. Well, the cameras were looking at Lazarov, and then he's watching the Czech Republic score. So the four goal lead cut to three again. But the clock's still ticking over too slowly for Macedonia, and probably too quickly for the Czech Republic at the moment. Macedonia again, they'll just keep waiting and eating up the clock. And it's a two-minute suspension for Horak for deliberately kicking the ball. As he put his foot out, it's hit his foot and he knows it. Well, he can't believe it. And there's a tension amongst the Czech Republic players, isn't there? It's evident on the faces of those on the bench that this game is starting to slip away from them and with it, their European Championship. Well, that's a terrible miss, really, from Alishovsky. He should at least made Stockel make a save. Czech Republic now have three players with two two-minute suspensions to their name. Kubej, Horak and Hynek. They're three defenders. And it would be a blow to lose any one of them for the rest of the match. But you can bet your bottom dollar Macedonia might try and make it happen if they can. Zalowski. His time has come to an end, he goes off and on comes the playmaker. 
Number 13, Merkulovsky, and also to the line, Dimovsky. Number 19, Elishovsky waiting out on the wing. Temelkov waiting out on the wing. Dimovsky can't get the shot away. Just seven minutes left now. Tension building. Czech Republic fans are uh, well, they're pretty pleased with that. Shovsky is down injured, not with that, but the fact that Stockel's made a save, but it's another save he's made with his face. Shovsky comes in, Stockel, oh dear, that's right on the nose. That really is going to sting. Oh, that was it. And there was a little bit of afters there. Alashovsky's down. He was deliberately. Watch Kubesh here. Oh, well, Alashovsky kicks him and then Kubesh stands on him. So afters all round. Alashovsky deliberately kicked Kubesh and is lucky not to get sent off. And then Kubesh stumped all over Alashovsky. Oh, it's all kicking off, isn't it? There is no love lost between these two teams. Stockel's OK. Second knock in the face, knocking the sense back into him. Yeah, twice, he said. Well, he's taken a good turn for the cause, as it were. So Alishovsky and Kuvesh's little... Uh, Interchange goes unpunished. Well, that's a good block from uh, Temelkov as he tries to get the crowd going again. by Stelic. Right wide, Philip, good save. Another minute passes by. Another goal the Czech Republic have failed to score. Macedonia and Bill Muggs have come out, they've played their handball, they've taken the game to the Czech Republic and they could well be taking themselves through to the main round. Temelkov with another goal. Czech Republic have called timeout. Republic now playing for their uh, lives in this competition. And Shindowski as calm as ever. This team now need to also be calm. Stay focused. Do not lose their discipline. They've got just over five minutes to keep their lead. Jika offloads. Horak, no way through for him. Jika again. Out wide, no car, Butterfingers. And just about keeps possession.
Korak still can't get through. Mikulovsky doing a great job. He's a candidate for man of the match, regardless of the outcome. Grani gets nothing. Time off the clock to clear off the perspiration from the floor. They're not showing any signs of it outwardly, but inwardly, I should imagine that Martin Liptek is going through the ringer. Chica. Good save. Massive save. Dostoevsky celebrating, and Lazarov quite rightly saying, calm down, lads, calm down, calm down. This is not over. Stay focused, wait for the whistle, the final whistle, and then celebrate. But at the moment, stay focused. Check the public almost going man to man, they try and rescue this ball back Moski to the line Lazarov, Majovski Temelkov Lazarov oh good save Stockel but the Czech Republic just can't get the ball Out wide, Kubesh doesn't have it. Away come Macedonia with it. Dimovsky, oh, off the post and out. And Stockel brings it away. And now it's Chica. Tavrani into the corner. One back. Three minutes to go, three goals behind. A draw would be good enough to send the Czech Republic through. They don't need to win it. They just have to stop Macedonia winning it. Well, no car needs to get up, get on with it. Even the Macedonian fans are a little anxious. It'll be nail biting all around here. Majowski. More seconds coming off the clock. With Macedonia still in possession. Oh, that was an absolute belter. We're going to have to get the clock off here. Mikulovsky uh, went steaming in and he just ran straight into a brick wall. In the name of Thomas Sklenak, he felt that. That was like bouncing off of an iron bar. Yeah, Mikulovsky really did feel that. Bezberg didn't do anything wrong, he just held his ground, put his hands up. Mikulovsky went running straight into him. Round of applause for Mikulovsky. Chica. Stenek, Stelic, oh, they can't get it through to Vrani. And Macedonia keep the ball. And we're into the last two minutes. So it's going to be 
a timeout called. And it's looking very, very good for Macedonia at the moment. Will the timeout have been good enough? No, it probably won't because they now have a four goal lead with a minute and a half to go. Merkulovsky with the finish. Five for him in the match. A save from Ristovsky. And the fans know that this is theirs. Antics from Mistovsky. Nice finish, Kubej. But it's not going to count. That is, though. Icing on the cake. Macedonia, barring any kind of miracle here from the Czech Republic, and that's not going to happen because Merkulovsky brings the ball away all on his own. Oh, Kempo, oh dear. Well, showboating, and it didn't work. Merkulovsky was in to shoot. He popped it up for a Kempo, but kept for uh, number 11, Temelkov, but he completely fluffed it, but it doesn't really matter because they've dropped it again, and now this time it's a chance. Maniskov scores, and Macedonia are going through to the main round, and the Czech Republic are out. The bench are celebrating, the fans are celebrating. There's just seconds to go, and now everybody can celebrate because Macedonia have done it. The only result that would do was a win, and they have pulled it off here in Nice. They have beaten the Czech Republic, and the Czech Republic are going home. Well, the celebrations are going to go on long into the night and for tomorrow as well. For the Macedonian fans and the players. And who would have thought it after the first game when they were defeated and they were at the bottom of the table. In fact, they got their draw at the bottom of the table and it looked like that was the end for them. They nearly came close to getting a win. And they still rooted to the bottom of the table with one game left and everyone thought that was it. But now they're through, the Czech Republic are out, Germany are going through with maximum points because they beat Macedonia and Sweden. 
Merkulowski, as I'm sure you've all guessed, got MVP, and I'm sure you're all right there in uh, nominating him as well. Well, what a turnaround, and what a difference a day makes. The Czech Republic looks stunned. I'm sure they don't actually care who's got MVP from their team. It's Jika. I was just wondering about what might have been. Where did it all go wrong? Well, they didn't force the issue. They really didn't go after Macedonia in the same way that Macedonia went after the Czech Republic. And spurred on by the thousands of fans here. Macedonia have done it. It's that top line next to Czech Republic Macedonia. 21-27. That's all that counts as far as the Macedonians are concerned. They've beaten the Czech Republic by six goals. Nazarov top scoring for Macedonia. Merkulovsky with five, but he was immense. Jika got five, but really it was quite noticeable by the fact he didn't really do a lot. But look at that. They were beaten 15-9 in the second half. And in the last 10 minutes, they ran away with it. Those are where the goals came from and the attempts. And uh, that's Macedonia's as well. We're going to have a look now at the table, a confirmation of who is where. As Group B is decided, Germany through, Macedonia through in second, Sweden third, Czech Republic out. We hope you've enjoyed the handball here from Serbia. From myself, Clayton Lucas, it's time to say goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow.